Welcome to Electro Online, and here's our method two for solving vector products or cross products. This is actually a fairly popular method among a lot of students, and so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So here again, we have two vectors, vector A and vector B. Each vector has three components, the X, Y, and Z components, and when we do a vector product, we have A cross B equals, and we solve that matrix. Now what we can do instead, and let me go ahead and erase that, let's get rid of these matrix formations like this, get rid of that, and what we're going to do now is repeat the first two columns over here, so again we write I, and we write J, and we write A sub X, and B sub X, and A sub Y, and B sub Y, so all we've done is added the first two columns again at the very end. Now what you do is you draw lines diagonally across, starting from the I, so you draw a line across this way, a line across this way, and a line across this way, and then you do it again going in the opposite direction, starting from the K, this direction, from the I, this direction, from the J, this direction. So, okay, why did I do that? Well, it turns out that you can also write A cross B as the following. We take the first vector right here, I vector, and then we multiply that times A sub Y times B sub Z. So A sub Y times B sub Z. So essentially, you're multiplying all the elements on each of the diagonal going from left to right and then you're subtracting all the products when you go from right to left in the other, other direction. So just a moment see what that looks like. So we take the next one is plus J times AZBX, AZBX, and then plus K. And again, you multiply all these elements, so that would be AX times BY. So now we've multiplied all the diagonals in this direction and made them all positive. Now we're going to subtract from that all the products in the opposite direction. So that would be minus K times AYBX minus I times AZBY AZBY and minus J times AXBZ. And when we do that, we should get the exact same result as before. So, if we combine that, we can then say, okay, this is equal to I, I times AYBZ, AYBZ minus AZBY. That would be plus J times AZBX. And then minus, over here, AXBZ. And then plus K times, and here we have AXBY minus, right here, AYBX. Okay, and that is the exact same result that you will get from method one. Now you may say, well, wait a minute, did you have a negative here in method one? The answer is yes, but in method one, we also had these two terms in reverse, so it turns out it's still exactly the same. So if you make this negative and that make that positive and put a negative there, you'll get the same as you got in method one. So both methods work. Quite a few people like this method better. Others like method one better, but now at least you can choose to see what method is better. And by the way, on the next video, we'll show you an example for method two so you can see how that actually works with real numbers. So stay tuned for the next video.